everybody. Thank you for joining us here at Lazy Acres, Texas. So we're doing a quick video here. We're going to start kind of a new chapter. We're, uh, we're actually bringing in a new house, a uh, new mobile home. So we were going to build a house. Um, we kind of started getting into the process and taking bids on uh, pad and, and uh, engineering for the house and realized not only was it going to cost a lot because we're on a slope lot, um, and we're pretty rural, so getting people out here to do it was uh, was going to be a challenge. We were going to do some of it ourselves and, and uh, contract some people. So it was turning into a real big deal. It was probably going to take us a couple of years to get it done. So uh, we just decided that it would be easier just to kind of bring a house and drop it here. They have some very nice mobiles now. Uh, we've been looking at them for a couple of years, kind of trying to decide. A and few years. A few years. <laughs> and we found one that we really like. Um, it's not perfect. It's not everything I want. It's not everything she wants, so it's kind of a compromise. Mm -hmm. um, we found a couple of them uh, we ended up settling on this one for a lot of reasons but anyway so we're going through the whole process right now we're uh, it's it's a big process we're pretty rural and one of the reasons we moved out here is because they're pretty lax on all the different types of permits and you know it's you're pretty pretty easy to build out here but uh, as more people are moving to Texas it's gotten a little more difficult so um, it's still easier than it is probably in the city <laughs> but there are some more challenges so we're in the in the permitting process right now um, we're on a slope property, but at the bottom of the property, there's a floodplain, 100-year floodplain. So it's never flooded. We had 22 inches of rain from the hurricane, and it never flooded. So that was four years. Four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. So we're not. We don't have to worry about flooding, but for the permitting and everything, you have to have an elevation certificate. So that's we're in the process of that. Um, we've got pretty much everything else we need for our permits. Um, we've already bought the mobile, and it's sitting on the lot waiting to be delivered. And they're pretty anxious to get it out here. So hopefully next week they're going to do the pad. And drop the mobile. It's a uh, 32 by 76, 2,400 square feet, 2,400 mm -hmm. square foot, Sister. four bedroom, three bath, two bath. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's a pretty nice model. It's all two by four construction, like a house. So they're they're built pretty well now. So uh, it should be pretty good. It'd be nice because it'd be done pretty quick. So hopefully the whole process only takes about 30 to 45 days um, once we get our permits and it gets delivered here. So. Um, hopefully in a month and a half we'll have a house before Christmas. It's uh, end of October right now, October 22nd. It was her birthday yesterday. I'm sorry, it's October 23rd. It yeah. was her birthday yesterday. Yeah. And our anniversary is tomorrow. Yeah. So, yeah. A lot going on right now, but uh, we're going to walk all the way through the process. We're going to make videos through the whole process. The septic, we've had our septic engineering done. Uh, we're on pretty crummy ground, so yeah. it's going to cost us a lot of money to do septic here. And we're not going to be able to do the perfect conventional system we wanted, but... Um, it's going to be a process. Um, it'll be great when it's done. Uh, we're going to go through septic. We're going to go through electric. We've got the uh, power company dropping a, a new pole and meter uh, right by the site this week, hopefully. This week or next week. And, uh, yeah, it's going to go pretty good. So, anyway, we're going to walk you out there and show you the site. And then as we do these, you know, as we do each little piece, we'll we'll show videos on it. I think uh, when, they, when they start doing the pad, we'll do a video on that. And when they bring the mobile in and set it up. Um, just be a good series for us to kind of keep as a record of what we did and also for anybody else thinking about doing the same process um, it's been a, it's been a process I thought it was just get a permit drop a mobile and hook it up but I was wrong <laughs> <laughs> yes so here's um, some information that if you are planning on going that route as in and buying a manufactured home to put on your property uh, when they when you come into their office and they ask you do you have a site ready prepared uh, that is something that we did not understand, understand, yeah. comprehend completely. I mean, we knew that there would be things that we would have to do, but I don't know if it's just the the times that we're in right now, or uh, maybe it's a Texas thing because so many people are moving here. But that's, that's a big challenge right now. Everybody's really busy, so getting people out here to look at the property, getting the uh, engineering done that we needed. You know, we've we've been everybody around here has been awesome. Everybody we've worked with has been awesome. Um, they've helped us get everything done, the engineering done real fast. We got our septic engineering done in like two weeks. Uh, the cert cert elevation certificate that kind of tells them where where it's okay to build. We're building outside of the floodplain, but within 300 feet. So we have to have an elevation certificate that kind of proves that to the uh, permitting office. So that's taken us about three weeks, but uh, everybody's been awesome. Um, yeah, but they were on a six-week schedule, and they kind of yeah. squeezed us in there yeah and everybody so, so kudos to those that have really 
kind of helped us. Thanks be to God for getting these things all lined up yep. when they happened. We're not done yet, but it's been a great great process so far. Yeah. Definitely a lot more than we realized. I mean, there's probably six or eight things we had to get done just to get the permits. Um, and that's and then another six or eight things we had to get done, some of them the same for the septic permit. So, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot into it. but And then the permitting process is probably going to take a month from the time we start, roughly. We'll probably start that this week. So we'll take you all through that. But anyway, that's enough of the boring stuff. Um, we'll just show you real quick where we're going to put it. Right now we're living in a mobile home that was here when we bought the property. It was only three years old, I think, when we bought the property. Mm -hmm. So it's in real great shape, but it's just small kind of base model mobile home. Um, it's been great for our family, but there's three boys and us. So five of us, and it's a three-bedroom model, only like 1,400 square, 1,450 mm -hmm. square feet, I think. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty small. It's kind of like a cabin feel for, for all of us. And she homeschools, so all day long they're in there. Uh, she stays home, homeschools, and I work here on the property uh, from my office up in our shop. So we're here all the time. A little bigger house is really going to help. We're going to end up taking this mobile and putting it on our, we brought another piece of property next door, another 10 acres. We're going to put it over there as probably leave it as a guest house or Maybe rented, but probably leave it as a guest house. Um, but then we'll have another another house on the other property. So uh, it'll work out real good. Mm -hmm. right? And mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll be sneaking over there to use it for getting away from each other when she drives me crazy. I mean, when I drive her crazy. Uh, <laughs> anyway, let's go look at the property. Or let's go look at the spot we're going to put it. Shall you can kind of see it. It's actually right behind us. Yeah. It's We're on a hill, so it's going to be kind of right across the way from this, uh, right across the driveway from the house we're at now. Unfortunately, you probably won't get that great of a feel idea for, yeah. feel for the the slope but, but we'll show yeah. yeah let's do that so just as kind of a lay of the property here um the new house can be right there i don't know if you can see it or not but we've got some uh red flags red and white flags out here <laughs> and uh that's where we're going to put the house it's going to be kind of overlooking the pasture down there this is all a real gradual slope. Uh, the well, we'll walk you out there. But so, for as a lay of the property, we've got the uh, shop up there. That's where I work out of, and obviously we keep all of our stuff, all our tractors and everything. This is the house we were in, or we are in, uh, but we'll be getting out of that. We've got the corral over there, the pole barn, bees greenhouse on the other side of it, and then there's an old mobile we just use for storage. Then we've got the uh, Orchard, Orchard down there garden. and bees garden. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's only 16 acres on this side and then another 10 acres next door, but it's quite a bit of, I mean, for us, it's plenty. Uh, we'd love to have a bigger piece of property, but for right now, it's great. We've got nine cows. Uh, we had up to 14 at one point, but we don't really have enough grass. It's amazing though, right now it's October and we still have grass and that usually doesn't happen, but we've had so much rain this year. It's been awesome. So the cows actually have something to eat and their hay, but all right. So we're going to build right here. And uh, you can kind of see the cones down there. B, why don't you give us a little tour? A little tour of our new home. Hmm, what do you want me to say? Uh, well, so our front of our home will be facing this way towards the shop and towards the street. And uh, our back of it, we have it positioned to where it will face the pond and the pasture down. Oops, yeah, there's a pond back there. Stood in an ant mound. <laughs> oh, nice. With flip flops. An ant mound with flip flops. We've got these little ants here, and they bite like crazy. They're just little teeny ants. They're almost like the size of fleas, but they the bite stings for like a couple minutes. And it's they gnarly. blister too. They do. They hurt. So there's a pond. You can't see it, but there's a pond. We actually have a creek that runs two, down two sides of the property, and then there's a pond down at the bottom with an overflow and that stays full all the time. The creek usually runs most of the year. Um, unless we get real dry for a while, it might stop for a little while. But uh, we were hoping to kind of see it, but from the house, uh, you might be able to see it a little bit, but not really. You can't see it from here right now with this video. But anyway, so we're gonna put the house caddy corner here. Okay. It's, uh, it's on a slope. So there's about a two foot to two and a half foot drop from one side to the next. So the mobile's gonna be kind of funky. It's gonna be up about a foot and a half on one side and the other side's gonna be up about five and a half feet. Something like that, five feet. Mm, so we're gonna have a big deck across the back that overlooks the pasture. The orange cones out there are test holes that we've been digging for our septic. We're gonna be putting the septic right out there. Uh, these two dead trees are gonna go away. And then uh, 
yeah, the house will be right here. So it should be interesting. We're going to build a big deck across the back that overlooks the pasture. We get a really nice breeze coming up this pasture, which is why we're putting it right here. It comes right up through these trees, and uh, we get a real nice south breeze. In the wintertime, we get a really cold north breeze coming from the opposite direction. So the front of the house will be facing that way. But if we want to go hang out outside, we'll be out of the... Right, right. There's a good t uh, tidbit, too, and one of our experiences in looking for a mobile was that we were we were actually lucky enough to find a mobile that was already on the lot somebody had bought and for some reason it fell through and we were able to jump on that opportunity uh, one suggestion that i would really make is that to not to sign any contract with any mobile home dealer that you go to because it could really kick you in the butt we actually had a bit of a hard time getting this mobile and uh, it, it it worked out really well, but it, it, it was a, a little bit to actually try and, and get it. We ended up going with another one because we weren't able to to go that route. And we had bought, um, so we, we were dealing with a company. We're not gonna name any names here, but we were naming one company. And they basically wanted us just to give them an earnest deposit right away. And that what we found out after that is it locked us in with that dealer. So that same manufacturer, we couldn't deal with any other dealers. Right. And there was another dealer in town that had all kinds of stuff. And they had good prices. Right. And they were nowhere near what this dealership had. Their prices were a lot higher and they didn't have hardly inventory. So it really locked us. I kept trying to get them to get these mobiles from the other dealers but they wouldn't and or couldn't. extra fifty thousand dollars yeah actually it was, the, the price difference for the exact same mobile now the only drawback to that is you're limited with whatever they chose you know colors tiles whatever it was you're very limited but in in this time that we are going through right now with all of the um the shortages in a lot of different areas of industry it your choices are very limited anyway so uh, once we get the house we there are some changes that we will end up making to it some things that we'll add like we're going to add a wood stove which we were unable to get a wood burning fireplace in this one because it, it wasn't already in there and maybe some color changes and some countertop changes that'll all be over time but it's not going to probably be fifty thousand dollars worth of changes right. that we're going to do to it. So, so what I started to say is we had another mobile on order with another company. After after dealing with the companies and we couldn't get the mobiles we wanted, we went with another company that actually had a layout we really liked. It was kind of what we'd been looking at for a long time. We started this process back in the beginning of the year. It's October now. And the mobile that we were looking at was about 30% cheaper at that time. Yeah. And just in with all these shortages and everything, the mobile prices have gone up so much that the... Uh, it was about thirty thousand dollars more, but uh, we bit the bullet. We went with that one, and then uh, they wouldn't tell us how long it was going to take to get though. And I got pretty frustrated after a while. And then we found one. We got out of the contract with the other uh, dealer because we had signed with another one. And then we, and then the original dealer that we were <laughs> was the same manufacturer. Actually, posted another one that was going to be what we wanted. And it was on the lot and ready to go. That's how we ended up with the one on the lot and ready to go. Yes. And since we were out of our contract with the other guys, we were able to do that and uh, and get our deposit back from the third company that we had ordered. Uh, because what we found out is it was actually going to be at least six months before they were going to deliver. Maybe and that even was, eight months. Yeah, and that was that was just a guess. The guy's like, I, I'm not going to give you a date. I'm just going to say best case, six months. Yes. So at that point, I was like, okay, get our deposit back. This other one had one. We were out of the contract with their uh, partner, so we went with them. We got it done, and now it's uh, purchased and sitting on their lot, and we can't get it here. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully we'll get it here in this That's week. That's why it's very important to actually, if you are thinking about going this way, uh, do the do the the baby steps of going in, going to your permitting office to in your county, and finding out everything that you need. I mean, for us, it was we had to go a little bit above and beyond because we had to have an elevation certificate. Uh, when they did the subdivision in the 1960s, it was only a preliminary flood uh, flood map, so they've never done any formal surveying on this property. So do your due diligence 
beforehand and it'll go a lot faster yeah it'll save you a lot of trouble had i yeah. had i realized it was going to be so much uh permitting and, and stuff that we needed i would have started when we first started looking and we would have had all our permits ready to go and we would have we would have had the mobile set up almost by yeah now. right so right. um so it can go quickly it can if it you can take a long time find out what you need and just kind of take your time and get it done and as you're looking at mobiles or, or houses or whatever you if you're going to build right same process right. out same here process. it's the exact same yeah. process for building as it is for uh, of dropping a mobile yeah. same residential right. permit so right. right yeah so yeah. anyway uh, that was just a quick video we'll do more videos uh updates as we go through this process uh, there we go hey you can see our ugly mugs oh well, my ugly mug <laughs> Burby. anyway we'll we'll go through the whole process we'll go through the septic power uh everything and uh, hopefully if anybody else is looking to do the same thing we can give you some help save you a little bit of a hassle just by learning our, by our mistakes. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. If you have any questions or anything, if you want to know anything, uh, put, send us a message or comments. Yeah. And if you like the videos uh, as we go along, like the videos and uh, subscribe to the channel. Anyway, appreciate it, guys. All right. Thanks, you guys, for joining us at Lazy Acres, Texas. Have a great day. Yep.